Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to a deeper look here on KBOO in Portland, Oregon. I'm your host, Linda Olson Osterland, and today we're talking about Yemen, one of the newest nations to become a focus of our government's war on terror. Right now, I'm going to go to my guest. She's a journalist, an activist, and a founder of the organization Women Journalists Without Chains. She's also one of only 13 women on the Legislative Shura Council of the Yemeni Congregation for Reform. It's the leading opposition party in Yemen. Her name is Tawakol Carmen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Linda, for this and for having me. It's very important for the American people to hear the Yemeni voice. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. In the last two days or three days in the news, there's been word about your government, the Yemeni government, with U.S. backing, attacking a village in the southern part of Yemen called Hata. They're saying they're going after al-Qaeda there, um, and it happens to coincide with the American uh, anti-terrorism expert being sent there, John Brennan. Can you talk about these events in your nation and from your perspective, what's happening? Yeah, dear. Uh, I think that the United States started, you know, uh, started uh, um, to launch a direct att- attacks against Al Qaeda in Yemen uh, after they they reach conclusion that the Yemeni regime isn't serious uh, or uh, is unable to fight Al Qaeda. Uh, and they have a new policy here in Yemen too, like what I what I said uh, before that they launched to to direct attacks in, inside the Yemeni, um, like what happened in uh, in Niger in Abyan when uh, America done uh, drones killed more than 45 civilians, and what happened also with uh, with in Marib when they also killed. I killed someone from someone important uh, in the uh, uh, Arab government. I think that the problem with the, uh, the Amer- American attacks in Yemen is that the U.S. gets in the information about Al Qaeda from the Yemeni regime, and the information is uh, usually incorrect. For me, the uh, Yemeni regime plays with Al Qaeda as a card to get its, you know, uh, its uh, uh, opponents like what is happening now with the peaceful southern movement. The movement started in, the, in 2007. Uh, they, these people were calling for the right, uh, their rights. They uh, used peaceful ways like demonstrations, like uh, uh, sit-ins, like strikes, to call for their rights. But recently the regime started to accuse them as al-Qaeda movement. So... Um, now the, the situation here in Yemen is coming worse because, you know, now the, the, the war against Al-Qaeda and American, America believe our government about this uh, incorrect uh, information. Yes. Tawakol, you mentioned that the government has been using the word Al-Qaeda to take out opposition personnel, people who are on the opposite side of that government. Can you talk yeah. about the two journalists recently arrested? Yeah, there is, there is a journalist called uh, Abdel Ilah Haider Sha'ir. He arrested uh, before uh, one month. He was disappeared and uh, uh, they arrested him and they, you know, they accused him as the uh, member of Al-Qaeda. And the other, he was, you know, uh, he, he was just his friend. They released him yesterday. But they released the cartoonist? Released, yes, they released the cartoonist yesterday. But... In general, we, when we talk about journalists in Yemen, and when we talk to about the, the war against Al-Qaeda in Yemen, the war uh, against Al-Qaeda in Yemen is something unclear. It's, some, it's something untransparent, so we don't know what is the, wh- wh- why did they uh, uh, arrest Abdul Ilah Shaya until now. Also, the, when you talk about the environment of human rights in Yemen, all the human rights in Yemen, you know, it's become down, and it's, we, we lose uh, all the democracy life. All the, uh, the democracy life here in Yemen becomes some uh, decor. Uh, always they attack newspapers, they attack freedom of expression, they attack, they attack uh, human rights uh, activities. In all uh, our life, uh, from 2005 until now, they began their attack against, you know, civilian lives, and after 
the, the war in Al-Qaeda has become worse and in, under the umbrella of war on Al-Qaeda. This is, this is a huge problem. America was help Yemeni people to improve their democracy lives, to, improve, to, to have human rights, to have right of expression, to fight corruption. And now uh, America believes our government about Al-Qaeda. Yes, there is Al-Qaeda in Yemen. This Al-Qaeda in Yemen is something coming from the authority, coming from the regime, because the regime is benefit from Al-Qaeda because it took money from the donors uh, to, to fight Al-Qaeda. To our it's call, the, the government, your, your government, the Yemeni government under the president they've had for, what, 20, over 20 years, they, they have a reputation internationally for corruption, and so there is an organization called the Friends of Yemen that was yeah. organized by, I believe, the United States and Britain and other regional countries. They're meeting in New York tomorrow. They're going yeah. to have a lot to do with deciding the future of Yemen. Can you talk about this organization, the Friends of Yemen, and what role they're playing? Friends of, uh, of Yemen is very important for Yemeni people if they decided to help Yemeni people for political reforms, not just for security, not just for fighting Al-Qaeda. I want to tell the American people by this great ra radio that alliance with Yemeni government and killing people by plane is something to create the environment uh, of Al-Qaeda, not stopping Al-Qaeda. It's creating the environment of Al-Qaeda. So, friends of Yemen, if they decided to make political reforms in Yemen, because we have many problems here in Yemen, not just Al-Qaeda. We have problems in the south. We have problems. There is an armed rebellion there. We have uh, in the north, sorry. And we have problems in the, in the south with the peaceful movement. We have also a big, a huge problem between the regime and the joint meeting parties. They are opposition. They have a big uh, crisis. And if they don't, and if the friends of Yemen doesn't help the Yemeni people to uh, sit around the table to make a conversation, to make a dialogue to solve, to solve the solution here in Yemen, I think uh, our country will, 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 will fail. So I really, I, uh, I ask, uh, uh, and all the people here in Yemen don't want from friends of Yemen to, to care about just security, to respond to the, uh, our government. Our government wants just money. They want money without any condition. This money will go to the corruption and will go to the terrorists will go to the Al-Qaeda, and there is, I spoke this in many channels, Arabic channels, and many newspapers, and that there is a cooperation between the government and Al-Qaeda uh, for, you know, for stopping the people from southern from movement. The southern peaceful movement, they are uh, from 2007, and to, to, uh, uh, until now, they are demanding on the right in the peaceful way. Tawakko, yes. in the southern movement, I understand that Yemen was actually two countries before 1990 officially, northern Yemen and southern Yemen. Is the yeah. southern peaceful movement part of a secessionist movement, a movement to separate? Yes, this the southern movement, they are calling for separation. Uh, and, but, but in the peaceful way, they didn't use any violations since 2007 and now. Now, if, if you follow the, some of the channels, you will see a huge demonstration around South. They are calling to help them for their, for their rights, something political issue. This the, movement you know, has uh, nothing to do with al-Qaeda, is that correct? They are victims. They are victims of Al-Qaeda. In 1994, the, they killed by Al-Qaeda and the South uh, environment, their cultural, uh, everything there the, against Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda attacked the Southern people before they attacked uh, America uh, in 9-11. Uh, in Our regime couldn't stop this Southern. It, it is very huge. They go to the street with million people. They go with peaceful way. And uh, when, when, when our government killed these people in the street, in, this, in, in this demonstrations, all the international
Israel society, all the NGOs inside Yemen and outside Yemen was refused this way. And now our regime use accuse them that they are Al Qaeda because they want to stop them. I am very sorry and I'm very angry when I when I when I saw that America and its you know huge value uh, with democracy and with human rights doesn't look to these people. Um, I think that the case. United States sometimes has different interests than it says, Tawakul. Our government often talks about democracy, but often supports dictatorship. I've been talking with Tawakul Carmen. She's a, a journalist and an activist in Yemen. Thank you so much for joining us, Tawakul. I hope that we can have you on again as things continue to develop in Yemen. There's so much more to discuss. Is there any last thought you would like to leave my audience with? Yeah, thank you very much. I want to, t to, to tell American people that war on terror will not be won by the Marines and Pentagon and CIA. The only one to win it is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is the human rights value, is the partnership with media and parties and civil society, with the people, with the public, not with the government who are corrupted and who, are, who has a, a relationship with Al-Qaeda. They have to strengthen the civilian people here, the, the NGOs. They have to, to cooperate with NGOs and parties to own their own media, TVs, and radios to spread the, the cultural of coexistence and to dialogue, not to create the, the hate feeler and to create the environment of fear in our country. They have to help South movement in, in their demands, and they have to have, and this is very important issue, they have to help the Yemeni people to make a dialogue between joint meeting parties, opposition uh, joint meeting parties, and ruling party, and on the other side between the Southern Movement, uh, peaceful Southern Movement, and the government also. We are going to have to leave it there. I've been speaking with Toa Cole Carmen. She's yeah. a Yemeni journalist and activist. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been a deeper look for KBOO Radio. Thank you so much for listening.